Well, here goes. We we promised the viewers that we'd have a few interviews. Did we? On that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. I blacked out. We said we'd do some interviews. We said a lot of things. Yeah, we said a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, and so we thought we just reached into the sort of into the recesses of our brain. We mm. thought, well, who should we get on? You know, like who should we go to mm. just to kick off this mm. interview series? I oh, know there's a couple of guys who play in the IPL. And we yeah. thought, oh, why don't we just get a couple of mates on? Yeah, and they weren't um, available. So they weren't. Right, yeah. No, that's right. Yeah. And we asked this guy if he was our mate, and he was like, oh, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> so the <they're> for the manager. <laughs> um, but but he's, he's reluctantly agreed to mm. to join us for our first interview for our uh, you know for this IPL series. It's uh, it's Pat Cummins. I believe people will know him as Pat Cummins. Uh, That's right. Pat, Pat, welcome to the TGC doing the IPL. Hey, it's great to be contractually required to speak to you guys. So <laughs> happy to be here. <laughs> that gun in your back there, just, yeah. to just keep the camera up. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Camo. And we'll call you Camo. Um, you know, look at look how far we've come, like all three of us, you know. Like uh, <laughs> you plied your trade at Howl Oval in Penrith. Uh, you know, I was at Ride Oval. He goes at Chatswood Oval, yeah. uh, as you would know. And um, right. now, you know, now we've all made it in India. So, you know, us sitting here on YouTube together, like I guess we all have to pinch ourselves at how far we've all come together, yeah? Yeah, we do, absolutely. It's, um, yeah, it's been a wild ride. <laughs> Certainly been some, some highs for... For some of us, um, <laughs> 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 no, but, yeah, how crazy, eh? To think, um, yeah, there you are in a in a booth in Sydney, crazy. <laughs> uh, well, okay, okay. Let, let, let's try and like bring together grade cricket and the IPL yeah, for the yeah. for the viewers. Yeah, come on, you know, some might think there could like couldn't be two environments further apart. Uh, than IPL and grade cricket. You know, one competition pays you a couple mil or 15.5 crore uh, for six weeks of cricket, um, and the other actually costs you about 6000 Australian dollars once you tally up the rego and kit and yeah. petrol money and fines. Tolls. Um, and the sport actually takes is like a part-time job's worth of time to play. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, you know. So you, you could tell us, like, is the Kolkata Knight Rider set up uh, much different to Penrith? You know, could you run us through some of the similarities and differences when it comes to net etiquette and shower politics between mm. both um, organisations? Mm. Yeah, um, I mean the net politics. Is, I'd say the same. Like you know, you top order big, big dog local players, overseas players always get right away. Mm. Um, Andre Russell just walks into the net whenever he wants, faces a few, few throwdowns, hits them a million miles into the stadium, and then walks out. So I wouldn't say that's too different. Shower, yeah, I'd say that's a little bit different. Um, mm. I haven't seen a fines um, committee spoken about yet or a fines meeting happen maybe this season um yeah it's <laughs> yeah, there are just similarities str- aren't there struggling there. <laughs> just it's actually nothing alike yeah yeah i mean come on we you, obviously your your close friend glenn maxwell had a had a tough season in the ipl last year but actually managed to get picked up for more money yeah. this year i mean how disappointed were you to be retained by kkr <laughs> Uh, no, I'm very happy. It's Maxi and uh, Chris Morris have got two guys who went for the most. Yeah. I think they were about their fifth, fourth or fifth, maybe sixth um, club, and they keep getting picked up for more and more. So, mm. yeah, maybe um, maybe we're doing something wrong. Mm. I mean, the main the main talking point though in cricket media around the world, Kamo, you would see this is Washington Sundar's dog. Um, mm. He's called it Gabba. I mean, are you thinking about maybe acquiring a cat and calling it Edge Baston or something? Mm. <laughs> I did see that. Um, fair play. I mean, what can you do? Yeah, uh, that's a great point. What can you do? Fly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fair play. They won that one. Um, <laughs> yeah, they did. See, because he, he's, yeah. this was my next question coming. Like, I'm watching your eyes like dart around the window and stuff. Like, you probably yeah. want to get out or whatever. But like, as you're sort of because because I'm not sure that's what you actually think about Washington Sundar's dog, right? But mm. I guess my question is like, you know, what's more scary, like saying the wrong thing that the Indian media might pick mm. up or Australian media? <laughs> oh, um, oh, Indian, Indian media. Like if you live on social media at all, you get absolutely hounded. Like say anything bad about Vera Kohli yeah. and look out for the next years. Like <laughs> I remember I said something a few years ago and it wasn't like, it was actually a, Oh, I thought it was a bit of a compliment being like, oh, you know, he's a great player. Hope he um, hope he doesn't score 100 because he's a gun player. Oh, yeah. mm. And then about yeah. six months later when he did score one, my phone just blew up. <laughs> like, they've got a long memory. 
Yeah. Do you think Coley's actually got a bit of pressure on him? No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not proven yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we'll see. One. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, just on Indian players, like, uh, I mean, I'm like, when it comes to Australian cricket, like, if you haven't heard of a young buck coming through the scene, it's probably because they haven't done anything or like achieved anything. You've got to kind of prove yourself in Australia, but like. In India, I, I'm now scared of any young Indian player that I've not heard of mm. that's on TV because <laughs> it means they're probably better than the current generation. Uh, like, can you help us? Like, like, who are the young Indian players that impress you the most and that we should, as Australians, fear the most? Um, oh, no, I'm in exactly the same boat. I remember I played for Delhi three or four years ago. In the first warm-up match, I was batting alongside this left-hander and he kept putting it into the stand and I thought he was about 16 years old. And I said to our coach and captain, I was like, this guy's a gun. You should definitely play him. And they're like, yeah, that's Rishabh Pant. He's, he's pretty good. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Anyway, it turns out to be pretty good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's the same. Every year there seems to be a few new guys that I'd never heard of and they end up being superstars. Um, uh, they, they play a big – they put a lot of emphasis on under-19s cricket. So I think mm. Shulman Gill um, – We've got a couple other young guys here at Kolkata, um, Nagakoti and, and Marvi, two young fast bowlers. They have a lot of pressure on them because they did well in under-19s World Cup. So um, maybe those are the guys to look out for. But every team seems to have one or two batters that look like they're 15. They go out and they absolutely smack it. Yeah. Do, do those two young quicks in Kolkata, like, do they want to try and take you down in the nets? Like, yeah. Is there any alpha stuff that goes on mm. that you, where you have to sort of get the chest out yeah. sort of thing? Oh, they wouldn't dare, mate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, you, you, you obviously won the IPL in 2014. Is that right? 2014, yeah. you won it? Yeah, I think so, yep. KKR, obviously fond memories. Um, like, can, can you talk about the, the scenes the next day, like the celebrations? I'm sure sort of unparalleled or, or nothing that we could imagine here at home in Australia, but can, can you talk about maybe the, the craziest thing you saw the next day? <clears throat> Yeah, it was, it was wild. So we won the final in Bangalore and um, we flew back the next day to Kolkata and walk, literally just did one lap around Eden Park or Eden Garden, sorry, mm. and it was packed. There was 100,000 people. There was fans crying their eyes out um, as our owner walked along with us, Charit Khan, who's a you know, mega star over here. Mm. And then there was a couple hundred thousand fans lining the streets on our way back to the hotel. So... <clears throat> We weren't playing a game. We weren't doing anything other than walking, and there was hundreds of thousands of people lining the streets. Yeah. Um, the funny thing was, uh, so they won, uh, Kolkata won for the first time two years earlier. I wasn't there. And they spoke about this day where they went back to Eden Gardens and they just got showered in gifts. So they got Louis Vuitton luggage. They got iPhones, iPads. Um, they got speaker systems, TVs. They got gold jewellery everything you could think of. So a couple of years later when we won, I was pretty pumped to go back to this, um, <laughs> <laughs> this gift ceremony. So I remember we did the lap, we you know walked around, I thought, okay, the gifts are coming soon here, can't wait. I put off my holiday for a day, I thought it's going to be worth it. Anyway, lined up. We got a roll of material and a box of mangoes. <laughs> and I was so flat. <laughs> Uh, times are tough in the IPL yeah. at that time. Like, yeah. to, be, to be fair, good mangoes. Like, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I just remember I was so flat and they go, well, it's only, you, know, you can only win the IPL for the first time once, can't you? Fuck. So, oh, sorry. Anyway. Sorry to hear about that, man. That sounds really tough. Yeah. Um, yeah really tough. Um, can you, you know, <laughs> we're, we're sort of learning about the IPL this year and, uh, and, you know, we understand that sort of Mumbai have a stranglehold on the entire tournament. Um, you know, for the uninitiated, like, can you tell us why Mumbai won't win it this year? You know, and, and how much do you want to take Mumbai down in cr in a cricketing sense? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, they're a bloody good side, unfortunately. Um, you know, I think last year just all there, they got a gun bowling lineup, a couple of overseas, Boomer, um, and then that I feel like the top six batters all s struck at about a 200 strike rate. And average about fifty, so they're going to be tough to beat. Um, I mean, they, they've won too many times. That's what, why they might not win this year, um, mm. if that makes any sense. 
don't know. They're a good yeah. side. Yeah, yeah, they sound pretty good. Hey, yeah, uh, last couple of years, KK, I was obviously, they just missed out on the finals. Last year, you guys missed out on net run rate, right? I mean, finished fifth. I mean, I presume the goal is always yeah. to make in the finals, top four teams, just shoot for that. But, like, what's what's the key for you guys? Andre Russell, yourself, like Owen Morgan, I mean, all the Indian guys, like, what, what, do, you, what do you reckon is the key for you guys? Yeah, I think Kolkata have always had a really strong bowling lineup. We've got a couple of, mm. um, you know, really good spinners here in India as well. Last, you know, last year in Abu Dhabi, um, the wickets weren't as spin friendly as here. So, um, you know, Sunil Nareen, we've got Kuldeep Yadav, um, a, a, a guy called Varun Chakravaki. He was meant to, he was picked for the Indian side in their T20 um, in Australia, but got injured just before he came. But he's a superstar. Um, so I think the key is going to be our top order batting. Um, mm. Someone like Shubman Gill, you know, hopefully have, have a big season for us. Owen Morgan, Dinesh Kartik, there's a bit of class up there. So, um, yeah, a couple of those top order batters fire, I reckon, will be away. Mm. Just speaking of uh, Owen Morgan, come on, I'm just noting he's 34. and he, I mean, he hasn't made any pronouncements about retiring, but people presume there can't be too long left. So I just wanted to sort of know, like, with – with that in mind, like when, when are you planning on conducting a sit down interview to um, declare your aspirations um, to, for captaincy of Kyle Cutter? And because um, that seems to be the thing that you've got to do now. <laughs> when are you do it? And do you want to do it with us? You know? Yeah, do it with us. I'm surprised we've gone this long in the interview. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just talking about Kyle yeah, Cutter. Bro. Kyle Cutter. Yeah. Captain he's 34. He, you yeah. Know, he hasn't Coming seen out forever. Him, yeah. You know, yeah, his days are numbered, surely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Already won a World Cup. I don't yeah. know why he keeps hanging around playing. Yeah. But yeah, how do you sort of do like you know? How do you stick your hand up? You do, you do an interview or something or yeah. what? Oh, I think you just go behind his back like everyone. You know, <laughs> <laughs> way, really the knives in, away from the cameras, <laughs> like a game of Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, man. Uh, on a lighter mm. note, that's just a cold cutter captaincy question, but yeah. um. <laughs> just like I noticed with the IPL, guys have big contracts and stuff, and, and a lot of guys in quarantine. So there's a lot of uh, like Instagram Q and As you guys do. Oh, yeah. I've got 15 minutes spare. Yeah. You know, I oh, know yeah. it's more than 15 minutes, but mm. 15 minutes spare. You know, hit us with your best questions. And like e- every question that players seem to select is really straight or really polite. You know, like who's the best team in the IPL or what's your favorite Indian meal? Mm. Um, like I just want to know, but you know, if you can like get us under the hood a little bit. Like what's the percentage of questions that are really dark mm. um, and you're like, I'm not touching that because that could ruin my career. Um, and also what's your favourite Indian meal? What's your favourite Indian meal? Yeah, mm. that's interesting. Um, I love uh, butter chicken um, <laughs> with some peshwari naan or some garlic naan. Love it. Um, <clears throat> had it yesterday actually. Uh, can't have it too much though. No, you can't have it too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just cause, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I suppose you can't. Um, the, I mean, first of all, I'd say fifty percent of the questions have some kind of Virat Kohli twang to them. Yeah. Um, I don't know that they're, they're genuinely uh, like the Indian fans love cricket, um, mm, yeah. and I think if you did that in Australia, you yeah you'd get absolutely nailed. <laughs> Every question would be ridiculous, but yeah. actually, I reckon ninety five percent of them are genuine like cricket fans mm. wanting to just. Talk about cricket. Yeah. It's quite refreshing, isn't it? Really, like we're stuck in this grade cricket thing where it's like, yeah. oh, everyone's trying to out for you or yeah. knife you or something. But uh, <laughs> in all seriousness, like Indian fans just they just love the game in a, in a much more pure way. Oh, absolutely! Like it's if you go to you know say a Big Bash game or say an AFL game, if your team, if the opposition team, um, you know, scores a goal or whatever it is, it's dead silent. Like yeah, mm. you, you're there only to cheer on your team. Here in IPL and playing cricket in India, whoever hits a four, whichever side, they're cheering. Whoever mm. bowls a good ball, they're cheering. Like they're um they just want to see good cricket. So it, it is quite refreshing. It's totally different to anywhere else in the mm. world. Mm. Except for how level, very similar. Yeah, well, my experiences are well. yeah. Hey, come on, obviously, um you can't can't not mention COVID. Like it's obviously a really grim situation in India at the moment, especially. And I think so much of the IPL is like the the passion that the fans bring, pack stadiums. That's obviously not going to be the case, at least in the initial part of the tournament this year. But it's obviously rife in Mumbai right now, real like dangerous numbers and, and what's happening with the hospitals and stuff. I mean, how much of that concern is what is happening with COVID? Do you, have you guys even spoken about it much at all on WhatsApp groups or anything? 
Uh, yeah, a little bit um, amongst ourselves. I mean, I haven't seen our team yet. They fly in today from Mumbai, but right. Um, I, I think, and it's it's nothing new, but y- the risks are when you travel around mm. and you're at airports and things like that. Because here at the hotel, like we're we're actually really safe. I got a text message through yesterday from our staff saying <clears throat> we had 200, 240 staff tested yesterday between Mumbai and then we got the hotel workers here in Chennai and all the players and admin and um, all negative. So, like, it's a really tight bubble once you're actually here. No one's allowed out. No one's allowed in. Mm. Everyone's doing the same thing. But, um, yeah, knowing that just outside your door there's it's rife and people are, you know, really struggling to contain it, yeah, it does bring some level of anxiety. But, I mean, it's been done before. We had a great IPL last year, so I'm confident it'll go smoothly. Mm. You guys have the Sunrisers Hyderabad on Sunday night, Indian time. Um, I mean, for us, there's only really one question heading into this one. Like, like what what did what does David Warner and Johnny Besto actually talk about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There was one stage uh, we were playing them in one day as last year, um, England, and Davey mentioned <laughs> about the hundredth time. I oh, mean, Johnny, when we open the batting, we normally do this. And I was like, oh, you play with Johnny Bairstow in the IPL? And he's like, yeah, yeah, you know that. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I reckon they're both talking and listening to themselves. Yeah, uh, yeah that feels right. Uh, Pat Cummins, thanks so much. So so generous. You know, I don't know how this actually um, works with an IPL audience, but hopefully people have enjoyed it. And um, you know, thanks for enduring as usual. Uh, our dross, mate. That's all right. I'm sure there'll be some headlines that uh, people took seriously. So I look forward to them. <laughs> nice, us too. Cheers, brother. <laughs>